Ganella, the only MSG that is good for your diet. And um, so I'm a nutrition consultant, a practitioner of nutrition, and I help people to um, make changes when it comes to their food and their diet and their lifestyle. And um, whenever I'm working with my clients, there's always a theme. I'm always amazed, like, oh my gosh, everybody that I've been working with this week or this week and last week, they, they all have kind of like the same thing going. So I'm going to just um, share the same theme that I've been seeing with my clients lately in the hopes that it's going to help and support you. So right now we're in the holiday mode and spirit and it's almost Friday and I'm sure there's lots of holiday parties and um, really delicious holiday foods. But I know a lot of us, myself included, really still want to stay true to our 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 health goals. We don't want to wake up, you know, Saturday morning or Sunday morning feeling like crap. We don't want to have eaten way too much sugar when maybe we didn't have that intention or had too much alcohol or whatever. Like maybe we want to indulge a little, but we still want to feel good. We still want to have a good weekend. We probably have lots to do. So I wanted to share three main tips and, and then at the end, I'm going to tell a little story. So it's a great story. You might want to hear it. But my first tip is to catch your breath. Catch your breath. Like really allow yourself to take any little space of like if you're at a party and dinner's about to be served, can you just go outside for a second and just catch your breath and take a few deep breaths? Or when your plate is served at the table, can you just be in, you know, connect with your food for a moment and take a few deep breaths and connect with your body and your hunger and your digestive tract. When you go from mingling and being social and maybe coming from a stressful place and you actually settle into your breath, you will go take your sympathetic nervous system, which is more of your fight or flight, and bring it down into your parasympathetic nervous system, which will really give you, um, allow your digestive juices to start to kind of come alive, allow you to digest your food better than you would have if you're, you know, not in that space. So taking a nice deep breath, you can count to five, you can hold it for five, and then you can release it for five. That is going to do wonders for your nervous system and your digestion, and just help you to kind of feel into what you're eating, because you might not need to eat the whole plate that was served. So that's the first tip, is to catch your breath. The second tip, you know, is something where you can almost play a little game with yourself, where you say, okay, when I eat, I am sitting down at the table. This is actually one of my mindful eating, you know, tips or rules or practices or principles. Let's call it principles. I don't like to call it rules. <laughs> but, um, you know, sit down while you eat. So what does that mean? What if you're at a party and it's a whole bunch of appetizers? Like, okay, maybe then you're not going to do it. But what if you decided to say, you know what? I'm just going to wait until I sit down for my meal. Because guess what? I know that that meal is going to be super delicious. And I know I can eat a whole bunch of appetizers, not even be hungry for the meal, and then overeat. What if my one of my principles was that I'm just going to sit down when I eat? If you did that, you actually might find that you're going to enjoy your meal much better. You're going to feel a lot better when you crawl into bed that night. And you might say, oh, I'm so glad that I didn't eat all those appetizers that were going around because I'm, I have a principle where I'm sitting down when I'm eating. So even if you're not at a party and you're cooking dinner or you're whatever, like even if you're going to go eat something, sit down and eat your food. Sit at the table, put it on a plate, right? Don't just stand up over the sink or stand up over the counter. Like actually sit and eat your meal. It's amazing what that does if when that all of a sudden becomes sort of your own little principle or of eating or, you know, rule of eating. Like, oh, I don't eat when I'm driving in my car or standing up or sitting at my desk at the computer. I actually sit down at a table and that's when I eat. Amazing how your eating habits will begin to change. Okay, my third um, mindful eating tip around the holidays is to put your fork down between bites. <gasps> this is amazing. It slows you down so much. I am one of seven children. I know how to eat fast. <laughs> I am really good at it. And you probably are too, right? Because sometimes a lot of my clients, they say like, I, I just have to eat really fast and get back to taking care of everybody else, right? Yeah, right, okay, I get it. We're all busy, but geesh, 
Can we give that little bit of time to ourselves? So when you're eating a meal and you put your fork up to your plate, your mouth, put your fork down and chew your meal. Don't be multitasking, getting the next bite ready. Chew your food, like savor it. And if you're anything like me and you worked hard to make your meal, like let that experience last a little bit longer. Okay, so catch your breath, do some breathing before a meal or anytime you just need to calm your nervous system down. Sit down when you're eating. And I didn't mention, but like not sitting at your computer, but sitting at a table, you know, without all those distractions. Put your fork down between bites. And now I have a quick little story and then I'll let you go. So I had a client who lost about 60 pounds and this is what she did. When she was about maybe probably between half or two thirds of the way full, finished with her plate, she would eyeball that. She would put her fork down and she would look at her watch and she'd give herself 10 minutes. And she said, in 10 minutes, you can eat the rest of that if you're still hungry and if you still want it. She allowed her digestion, the hormones of digestion that talk to the brain and let us know when our tummy's full, when we're, when we're full, when we've eaten enough. She let those come up and actually um, talk to the brain. And that's when she would stop. And then she, a lot, a lot of times she would just stop eating. She would eat, then she would put her fork down when her plate was two thirds full, she would wait. And a lot of times she didn't need to finish that meal. She could take it to go. She could, you know, whatever she needed to do, put it back in the fridge, but she didn't eat it all. And guess what? She lost 60 pounds doing that because she was just eating too much, but she was eating so fast that she was, um, you know, overeating, right? As one of my clients calls it, you know, she, she was part of the um, clean your plate club and she started to get out of that club and into the, I'm gonna eat till I feel good club, till I'm not over full so that I'm not um, stuffed, so that I'm not you know, eating more calories than my body really needs. So my stomach can actually do the job of mechanical churning and all the chemical reactions because when you don't overeat, you're going to have much better digestion, much better absorption and assimilation. And in the long run, you're gonna feel a lot better. You're gonna be healthier. Your All of your organs and glands, especially your brain, is all gonna get nourished more when you're eating sort of the right amount for your body, right? So three tips, catch your breath. When you're trying to eat mindfully for the holidays, sit while you're eating, right? Don't be standing around talking, like actually sit down or cooking and eating. Put your fork down between bites. And remember, like take a little break mid meal and let yourself just be in the presence of your company or yourself and the food. And if you are not um, feeling like you need to finish your plate, you don't need to be part of the clean plate club. You can stop, right? Maybe you had to finish your plate as a kid, but uh, if you are, you know, <laughs> over 18 and watching this, you are the king or queen of your life. You can decide how much to eat. All right. So that is what I wanted to tell you today, um, because that is the theme of so many of my clients lately. And I thought I would just share it out with this um, community. And I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. Mm -hmm.